Hi everyone, driving instructors in England are going back to work on Monday so what I'd like to do is just show everyone this video as it's a good reminder I think of sometimes just how difficult things can be. So let's ease ourselves back into it and if you do see a driving school out remember it's nice to be nice. Further back the better. Perfect. Your position's excellent because it's not in a parked spot so people aren't going to get confused that you're um, parked in. Yeah. Your foot's on the foot brake which I think is good as well as a warning to people behind yeah. but you've left enough room for people to yeah. be able to get through. Perfect all round. All right you can probably just put your handbrake on them but just keep your foot on the foot brake just to warn people behind. Okay. Yeah now have, have a little move. Go on, move and show the van that we're going because you can't wait for everyone because the movement now has now give the van a decision on what to do. Do you understand? Yeah. Now, there is space a bit further up. Keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving. No. Just stop then. Just go slow, dip the clutch a little bit, dip the clutch. Stop a second, just because of this side. Go slow, and we need to steer away a little. a little. Good. Straight now with the wheels. Dip the clutch, have a look at this. We're good. Yep. And now off we go again. Cool. Well done. Good. And we park wherever you wish. Do we need to tell people? Parking on the right after the red car. Go near that black Fiesta. So go in early. Good. Straight's the key. We're going to keep rolling past the little entrance. Go keep creeping and rolling. Creeping and rolling. Creeping and rolling. We've got loads of room. We've still got loads of room. Right, now stop short of stack. How do we judge where the front of the car is? Yeah. Underneath your mirror. So that piece of wall that's just underneath your mirror. Yeah is where the front of the car is. Have a look at the piece of wall that's this side of the front of that car. Yeah. So could you go where that gate is? Yeah. Get your mirror past the other side of that gate. Do you understand how I've come to that decision with it? Yeah. Yeah? Come on, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. Good, Ooh. secure your car. Into neutral but now press your parking button just there and have a look how far you are away still plenty of room yeah make sense yeah. press your parking button again good turn your car off what's your thoughts with the van just then uh, i thought that he would have stopped maybe it's because it didn't creep enough yep well worked out well sorted what was i saying to you Move. Yeah. I need you to move. Yeah. Keep moving out. But what did you actually show him? I showed him that I'm probably going to stop over here. And that, well, to the left actually, because you went slow and you went yeah. van coming yeah. onto it. So is that like a little show to say, come on through? Yeah. So can we really blame the van driver there? No. A little bit. Oh. A little bit. He was still, he, he shouldn't have come through, all right? We were in the middle of the road, but you didn't quite take his initial lead. Yeah. Okay. So when he'd moved over and did that, you should have gone, thanks. Yeah. And then been quite positive and moved. Yeah. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. After that, though, how we dealt with it was quite important. Notice, I was trying to just pull the reins back on you and say, Beth, just stop. Mm. Look at it. What's the widest point of our car? Mirror. Both sides. Yeah. Nothing sticks out in our car more than the mirrors. So what was I paying special attention to? My side. The mirror. Against the other car van. The mirror against the van's mirrors. Yeah. Do you see where I'm coming from? Yeah. So you had to rather than try and escape that scenario, you had to go calm. 
Let's have a look at what I'm doing. Mm. See where I am. And go as slow as you need to. You actually had about that much room your side. Yeah. And that much room. room our side. Which is understandable because that's just that instinct of going, shit van. Yeah. But if you go shit van, you'll then go... Shit other van. <laughs> Oops, other van. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So it's both sides. It's the space. And remember that widest part the outside of your mirrors yeah good point now good little situation see how it can just all be sort of like not on purpose you didn't do it on purpose but do you see how you can instigate these scenarios just by your position and your speed of your car but it was good